days of the bitter battle for Okinawa, costliest of the Pacific War. 360 miles from Japan itself, American equipment slogs through an endless sea of mud. For 82 days, over tough terrain and against a fanatic enemy, the Yanks have fought inch by inch to conquer this 60-mile-long island. Now the end is in sight. At first, America was not entirely part of World War II. America was only supporting the Allies by sending supplies and helping with trade. America did the Land Lease Act. But on December 7, 1941, Japan launched an attack on the United States naval base at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Four days later, after the attack, Hitler declared war on the United States. That was when the United States became fully involved in the war. President Roosevelt then called onto the Congress to launch an Im immediate and massive expansion of the armed force. While trying to expand the military, the United States also had to support the nation's allies. U.S. sent troops to British ISOs to take action against the Axis. Air power were mostly the only means for the allies to strike at Germany. The Royal Air Base began attack Germany on May 1942. Clint D. Roosevelt was born in 1882 in Hyde Park, New York. He studied at Harvard College. Later, he married his, his distant cousin, Eleanor Roosevelt, in 1905. A few months after, Roosevelt began law school at Columbia, but with little interest in laws, he later turned to politics. He then became the New York State Senate in 1910 and was re-elected in 1912. In 1913, he joined the Wilson administration as Assistant Secretary of the Navy and played a key role in preparing the United States for entry into the World War. In 1921, Roosevelt had polio, an incurable disease that caused his leg to be paralyzed. Through rehabilitation and support from his family, he eventually regained some use of his legs. Two months after the attack of Pearl Harbor, U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt signed into law Executive Order 9066, which resulted in the removal from the communities and the subsequent imprisonment of all Americans of Japanese descent who resided on the West Coast. Nearly 120,000 Japanese Americans were dispatched to makeshift relocation camps. He was a member of the JACL, who represents the pro-American attitude of Japanese in America. He wrote about his feelings toward the Americans in the Congressional Record, 1941, when Japan was on war with the U.S. Hello, I am Mike Masaka's granddaughter. My grandfather was a Japanese who lives in the U.S. during World War II. Despite the conflict of the Japanese and Americans, my grandfather was very proud to be an American citizen with Japanese ancestry. My grandfather wrote a diary that records his thoughts during World War II. He wrote, I am proud that I am an American citizen of Japanese ancestry, for my very background makes me appreciate more fully the wonderful advantages of this nation. I trust in her future. She has granted me liberties and opportunities such as no individuals enjoys in this world today. She has permitted me to build a home, to earn a livelihood, to worship, think, speak, and act as I please, as a free man equal to every other man. I shall do in all my power to discourage such practices, but I shall do it in the American way, 
above board in the open through courts and law, by education, by proving myself to be worthy of equal treatment and consideration. I am firm in my belief that American sportsmanship and attitude of fair play will judge citizen patriotism on the basis of action and achievement, and not on the basis of physical characteristics. I pledge myself to do honor to her at all times and all places, to support her constitution, to obey her laws, to respect her flag, to defend her against all enemies, foreign and domestic, to actively assume my duties and obligations as a citizen, cheerfully and without any reservations whatsoever, in the hope that I may become a better American in the great America. I'm M. Buckner Jr., military leader. In the diaries, Buckner wrote the stories of his battle to his wife. The diaries focused mainly on the attacks, reports, and military-related documents. There were much in information about emotion-based writing in these diaries. His main goal was to reveal the tactics of the Japanese and try to let them surrender as soon as possible. The diaries included strategies General Admiral told them to follow, and the report of their attacks. Soldiers at World War II Soldiers live in harsh, tiring, and dirty conditions. Most nights they have to sleep with just a blanket on the floor, cold and shivering. In addition to the stress of the war, they all miss their homes and families. The soldiers ate a high sugar and carbohydrate diet called K rations, later replaced by C rations in 1948, and then to the present day MRES. The battlefield is now in such chaos that all communications have ceased. It is impossible for me to command you. Every man in these fortifications will follow his superior officer order and fight to the end for the sake of the motherland. This is my final order. Farewell. Our 32nd Army was now faced with this situation. Must 100,000 soldiers die because of the tradition? From this point on, it was battle but to kill the remaining Japanese soldier for nothing. We could cause the enemy little damage. They could walk freely on the field of battle. The war of attrition was over, and we would simply be asking the enemy to use this formidable power to kill us all. The Japanese have this uh, supreme Japanese principle to never surrender to the enemy. Officers and men usually committed suicide as a last resort to avoid the ultimate shame of capture. The Japanese soldiers are really determined keep on fighting, then one of them die while standing. Even when they are injured or shot, they keep on walking forward and fighting. 